So I've been getting a lot of requests on how to do the firmware on an Ender 3 Max. It's actually pretty simple and today we're going to go step by step on installing the firmware right here on this Ender 3 Max. My name is Jim and this is the Edge of Tech. What's up everybody? Like I said, I've been getting a lot of requests to do the firmware on the Ender 3 Max. So I thought I'd make a quick video and show you how I upgrade the firmware. And today we're going to use the TH3D Unified Firmware. I tell you what, super simple to configure. It's fast to install, especially on this one because you don't have to do anything to the screen. And once we get done, you're looking at maybe 10 minutes tops. It's a very fast process on this one right here. So you're probably asking yourself, why would I upgrade the firmware? Well, I tell you what, that's a great question. And the reasons why you might want to upgrade your firmware is if you're having issues, maybe you're having some printer problems and you want to maybe make sure you're on the newest firmware to see if that helps your printer problems. Otherwise, maybe you want the newest features. Maybe Marlin has come out with some new features and TH3D threw them in their package. Uh, I know Scott and the crew over at Marlin are always tweaking and upgrading and doing bug fixes. For me, I just like to upgrade the firmwares on all my printers if I can. Just keep some current. Uh, maybe it fixes bugs and of course adds features anytime there's new features added. With all that being said, I don't want to make this too long a video. Let's dive in to how to install the firmware on the Ender 3 Max. I'm gonna jump in right here and tell you today's episode is being sponsored by Fangs. Fangs is the biggest growing 3D community with over 2.3 million available models already. One of the really cool models available at Fangs is the new Wexter Mini Gym. If you guys have not seen the Mini Gym that Wexter designed, all you have to do is type in Mini Gym, you'll find the STL exclusively right here on Fangs. You can download it and print it for yourself. Thanks again to Thanks for sponsoring this video. You can find a link in the description below if you want to check it out. Now back to the video. So well, the first thing we're going to do is jump over to the TH3D firmware page. You can find that by going to firmware.th3dstudio.com or click the link in the description below. It'll take you right to the Ender 3 Max where we're going to start. So once you get to the page, it'll look like this. If you scroll down, we're going to be using the Unified 2 firmware. And we're going to go to Creality, and we're going to kind of scroll down until we find that Ender 3 Max right here. And we're going to click on it. So once we do that, it takes us to the Ender 3 Max page. And if we scroll down a little bit, we need to know which board we have. Now mine was a 422 board. But in the video, I show you how to check which board you have. You actually have to look at the board itself. That's the most reliable way to check it out. In this case, I'm going to be using the 4.2.2 firmware uh, from here on out. If you use that 4.2.7 board, it's the same steps. You just uncomment something different in the firmware config, and we'll go over that in a minute. Right now, what we need to do is download the firmware package, which is this one right here. So we're just going to click on that and download. I've already done that, so I'm not going to do it again. Also, if you're going to use an Easy ABL or any of the other TH3D products that can be printed, you can click this STL pack here. It's free. So once you get this downloaded, it's very important that if we go down here, it's going to tell you that you have to have VS Code set up and ran. Now, I'm not going to do that part in this video because I already have it set up and ran, but it's very important that you do it. I'll put the link to this guide in the description below. It's very simple to do, but once you have it done once, you don't have to do it again. It probably will do updates, but that's about it. You don't have to install it again. If we go into the download folder where the firmware downloaded, uh, all you have to do is open that up. And you'll see that I already did this before, but I have it right here. We're going to right click and we're going to do extract. Once you do extract, I just hit OK and it'll extract to the same place you downloaded it to and you're going to get these folders here. And in these folders is where your firmware is going to live right there. The next thing we're going to do is open up VS Code and we're going to open that firmware configuration.h. So let me minimize this. I'm going to open this here. So once you have a VS Code open, that's this one right here. Then you're going to go over to the open folders tab. So you can either go to file, open folder right here. That's the way I like to do it. Uh, or there's a side button there. And then you go to downloads. We're going to go into the Unified 2 Creality V4 folder. 
We're going to click on the firmware folder, but that's it. Just leave it clicked and then select the folder just like that. What that'll do is give you this right here. And if you expand it, there's just a ton of stuff in here. Now, what we need to do is find the configuration.h. So you're going to click on configuration.h and that'll be under your Marlin tab. This might be minimized like this. So maximize that, find configuration.h and click on it. That'll open configuration.h right over here. And from here, it's very, very simple. What we need to do is come down and find our Ender 3 Max, which is right here. We're going to delete these two wax, which is also known as uncommenting the line. So we'll delete these like that and you'll know it worked because it'll actually turn a looks like pink and blue color here. So in the case that you have the 4.2.7 board, you would just scroll down here and comment out this one right here. Now this one right here says it's the Ender 3 Max 427 board. Like I said earlier, I have the 4.2.2 board, so we're going to uncomment this one. But uh, if you had to, all you'd have to do is scroll down here to the Ender 3 Max, put your cursor there, and delete those two. In my case, we have the 4.2.2 board, so I'm going to delete these two. And that's it. We are done. There's nothing else we need to do. Now, there's a lot of other things we can do, but there's nothing else we need to do. Uh, if you scroll down, you can see a whole bunch of options. If you keep scrolling down here, if you have different hot ends, you can use them here. If you have an easy ABL probe, maybe you can uncomment here. You just find the printer you're going to use. In this case, we're going to uncomment out that one. If you're going to use an easy ABL, if you scroll down a little further, if you have Ender Extender, uh, if you want to change any of the parameters around your easy ABL, they're right in here. Um, if we keep scrolling down, there's custom probing. Maybe you have a BL touch. You can use this for custom probing. There's different extruder settings. You can actually customize the E steps here. Um, if you keep going down even further, there's just a ton of stuff you can do. But in this case, we're going to leave it at that. All we did was uncomment the Ender 3 Max 4.2.2 board. We are done. We go to the bottom here where this little checkbox is and we hit go. Now this will take a couple minutes to do depending on your speed. It could take up five to six to 10 minutes. Uh, I have a pretty quick computer so it doesn't take that long but if it sits here, uh, don't be surprised. It'll go through all this stuff and when it's done, it'll let you know it's done. Okay, when it's done, you'll see right here that it created uh, this one right here and it was a success and that's awesome. That means we successfully compiled the firmware and now we just need to go find it. So what we're going to do is go on the left side here in the firmware folder under PIO, under build, and then find this one right here, which is like a big long name. Uh, and you want to right click that and reveal in File Explorer. What that'll do is bring it up in your File Explorer where it actually saved on your uh, computer here. And if you go into the Creality folder there, you're going to find a bunch because I've done this a bunch of times today. But uh, you're going to find a bunch of stuff. And if you scroll down, this one right here is the one we're looking for. This is the firmware.bin folder. So this is the one we're going to drop on an SD card. So you'll throw an SD card in. Make sure it's blank and format it and then copy this to an SD card. Once you have this copied to your SD card, uh, go ahead and eject the SD card and then we're going to jump into the actual upgrading of the firmware right on the machine. Let's go. Hey everybody, if you're getting value out of today's video, I really appreciate if you hit that thumbs up, that like button. It really helps send this video out through the 3D printing community on YouTube and hopefully falls in the hands of more people who need it just like you. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for the support and back to the video. Now we're going to insert the SD card into the machine and then turn the machine on and we'll see what happens here. So you see it takes a little bit longer than normal to boot up. It should be loading the brand new firmware. When it's completely done, we should see a TH3D splash screen. There it is there. And if everything went well, it'll boot up 
TH3D Unified Firmware 2.2.7. That may change. Yours could be a newer version than this. So once the screen boots up, you just click the button. You'll come down to About Printer. Go to Firmware Info, and you'll see TH3D Unified Firmware. In my case, it's 2.27. It could be a newer version when they release a newer version, but you'll see the new version on there. In this case, it's 2.27, and that's it. It is super easy to install the firmware on the Ender 3 Max, and we are done now. So that's it. It only took about 10 minutes, and we got the firmware updated. I hope you guys found that pretty easy to follow and super simple to do. I know TH3D is always updating their firmware package so if you ever see the upgrade you can do it just the same as you did today it will just be a different version let me know in the comments below what your favorite firmware is is it marlin is it clipper uh maybe there's one i don't know yet let me know i'm very curious to see that also there's links in the description for where you can find the firmware and everything we went through on today's video just look in the description below the video if you've made it this far you guys are awesome i hope you guys learned something today and as always keep printing Hey everybody, if you liked the video, hit that thumbs up, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done that, and click the bell right over here if you want to get notified anytime we put out another great video like this, or we go live right here on the Edge of Tech.